Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs. In today's video, I wanted to show you a new file that I am super, super excited about. This is perfect for Thanksgiving or fall. It is the double folded pop-up card, and this one is with our turkey and pumpkins. It's the same turkey as is used in the um, tuxedo card, if you remember this one. He's just a little bit bigger and I've changed him up just a little bit different. So if you watch this video, you'll know how to assemble the turkey for this one as well. But let's go ahead and get started and let me show you all the pieces that come with this file. This is a pretty big file. So the first thing is you have your little insert pieces. Um, so this is your front insert and it has your pumpkin and we're gonna layer all of this. I'm gonna show you how to do all of this today. This is our second insert and it has the two leaves. You have another layered pumpkin. Then of course our turkey. The embellishment panels for the front. And this is the um, folded card, the bridge piece of your card. You have some embellish embellishment panels or decorative panels for the back, plus these little leaves. So let's just go ahead and get started. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna fold our card. So there are two score lines on here. I don't know if you can see them, but they fold over. Let me make sure I've got it right. So you're gonna fold it over in the middle. And then there's another score line and it folds back on itself right in half. These cards end up measuring five and a half inches squared and they will fit a five and a half or a six inch envelope. So there's your, your, your card base. Next, let's go ahead and add the decorative panels on here. So I'm just gonna add some tape to it. And I just did all of this out of a solid color. I was trying to do something real fall and pretty, but you could do these out of printed cardstock, pattern paper, whatever you have on hand. <clears throat> okay, so the two skinnier pieces go on these two skinnier sides. We are going to just set that aside for just a minute because we're done with it for a second. And we're going to start on our bridge piece. So the bridge piece is folded the same way almost. Um, we're going to take, there's a score line right here and you're going to fold it down. And then you're going to find this score line and fold it up. So that if you look at it from the top, it's kind of a Z. Does that make sense? And then before we layer our turkey on here, we want to put the decorative panels on this piece so that the turkey is on top of them. And again, this would be really fun with your printed paper. Or if you wanted to layer it, you could use the offset feature and do an inside offset and then have like a couple of layers on here. That would be kind of cool. That should be a lot of cool. Okay, so now that's done, let's go ahead and build up our turkey. The easiest way to do it is actually to build it right on top of the bridge piece. So we're gonna start off with our red, our red feathers. and just line them up. There's no shadow on here. It should just line up and match perfectly. Then we're gonna take our next layer. For me, it's the purple. You're gonna line up this edge right along the bottom there and just kind of center it up. Okay, then next we have our gold piece. Now let's take our little um, tricky body and I would normally ink this up to give it a little bit of dimension and I didn't do that this time. 
but that's normally what I would do if I were doing this tricky. And you're just going to line him up so that the little hair pieces are on there and then he kind of hangs over just a little bit on the bottom. Then let's build his face um, separate. So we're going to put his little cheeks or his little beak down there. And the reason I'm doing this separate is because I'm going to add it on with some pop dots. That shouldn't surprise you. And here's our little waddle. Okay, and then the eyes. I always cut these out of black, but you could do them out of another color if you wanted him to have blue eyes or green eyes. And then our little turkey has eyelids. He's kind of a sleepy little turkey because isn't that what happens after you eat your Thanksgiving meal? Okay, so once he's done, whoops, that didn't stay. Once his face is done, we're going to go ahead and add it to our turkey with some pop dots. And I'm actually going to put two of them on there. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, then we have the little feet. And that is ready to go. So next for this one, we want our pumpkin. It's going to go right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just layer it. Again, I would normally ink these pieces, but I'm in a hurry. I want to get this video done so I can get these listed for you. And then we're going to layer the inside pieces. So this is the back inside piece, and it has two leaves. Those stems are a little bit skinny, but they do cut out just fine. It just matches up right there. There's our first insert piece, and then our second insert piece is the pumpkin again. Once we have those done, now we're ready to assemble the card. I'm going to bring my bridge piece, and we want to glue it so that this right tab is glued down, and it's glued only on this fold piece right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some tape only about halfway. And then I'm put it on this last tab. Okay, stretch it out. And you don't have to be, there's no right or wrong place to put this. Um, you just, you don't want your turkey to hang over the top of your card. So don't go any higher than that. Okay, once we get that folded, then you can see how this card is going to work. So it's going to lay flat like that, and then when you open it, this piece 
opens in the opposite direction, if that makes sense. It kind of forms a little box. And in that little box is where we're going to put our insert pieces. So some of my cards have two pieces and some have one. It just depends on the card, um, but they're all put together the same way. So on this one, I'm going to take this first piece and I'm going to turn the tabs up or towards me and then flip it over and put glue on the back of those tabs. The tabs are pretty big, that's so it doesn't slip and slide around in, your, in there. And now if I can show you this on the camera, there is your box, and you want to put this with these tabs towards the front. So I'm gonna just slide it right in here, and press it, and then press it again. You can lay it down and press, fold it and press, and then you'll see that it's right in there. Okay, so the turkey or the pumpkin is kind of behind the turkey. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing with our leaves. This time we're gonna fold the tabs down towards the table or away from us. And we're gonna put glue on those two tabs again. We're going to do the same thing again. We're going to slide this insert piece into this box, and this time I want those pieces up against the edge of the back of the card. Come on. Okay, and then you can just fold it to grab the adhesive. And then when it pops open, you have the pumpkin and the leaves behind it. Next, we're going to take this little pumpkin, and I'm going to foam pop dot him. He's going to go right there. And then to finish it off, we have some more leaves. If you want to decorate the background pieces, you can, however you want to do it. We'll just, I'm not going to use that last one, but it's in the file if you want to. You can sign a sentiment right here, or you can always use the back of the card because there's a big spot on the back for your sentiment. What's really going to make or break this card is the colors that you use and the patterns that you choose if you do printed paper. Okay, and that is all there is to our fun little tricky double fold pop-up card. Such a fun card. I hope you'll give this a try. Let me know what you think. Share some photos with us. Please hit subscribe down below. Thanks for joining me today and have a great day.